So about six months ago, I upgraded my filament storage system, and it's been amazing. In all but one regard. Unfortunately, the boxes just aren't cutting the mustard in providing a controlled environment for the filament. And my humidity tends to just track the environmental humidity. I've found a better solution. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a new system which follows much the same approach, but is in a new container. So these are the new containers. Uh, I was made aware of these containers from Reddit, actually, and they are definitely going to be a lot better than the previous ones I used. They actually rated to be waterproof. They actually have clamps on all four sides rather than just both ends, and the lid obviously is a lot more rigid as well. Previous ones were very flimsy, so I'm going to take all the parts out of my old ones and take out all the hardware and all the rollers and build them up. And here's one I prepared earlier with the rollers already in. So the downside to this system is that at least how I've done this one is that they're a bit a bit not quite as long as the old ones so I couldn't easily fit any kind of bracketry in and I've had to drill holes through to mount the roller rods so there is a penetration through the box which isn't ideal but there's already going to be other penetrations through the box anyway for the filament feed points so what the hey um, it also means it isn't going to move it's going to be nice and rigid so yeah So, we're going to need slightly longer rods this time. These are about 340 millimeters, I think, for these easy storage 18 liter containers. Um, again, still using the M8 threaded rod. Um, and so, what I've done is drilled obviously 8 mil holes with a step drill bit. Um, and then basically fed the rod through, fed a nut on the inside and the outside to clamp and then fed all the rollers with a couple of washers between and then done the same at the other end okay that's the holes done Got to fit the rollers and the rods. This is the fun part. And when I say fun, I don't mean fun. This is where I think I really should have tried to 3D print something to actually have them just sit in there. But anyway, what's done is done. Um, yep, so I'm basically just putting a nut on, and I also have 3D printed some washers that are like tapered I think it's called what I found seems to work best is 3d printed washer nut m8 washer and then we go roller and then two washers four hours later 3D printed washer. Drop it down and then get in line with the hole and then just feed it through. Holding this nut actually starts to feed for a bit. You can't see that, can you? Actually starts to feed through a bit. Tapered washer and nut. Paper washer and nut. Okay, so that rod's in there. It's firm. The roll, it still roll. 
onto the other side. So one of the reasons for putting the filament feeders down the bottom in the previous design is so you can easily get a spool in without anything getting in the way. But that does mean, obviously, that you need to actually feed the filament in and then drop the spool in. So it's a little bit difficult and I think this time I'd rather do it the other way and have the filament feeder at the top, is that going to work? If I put one there and I have a filament spool there, is that going to feed? I reckon it will. That way over here, will that feed? Okay, it's going to be pulling a little bit an angle. I reckon it'll be fine if I put it right at the edge there. So I have like one, two, three, four. I'd like to have it there. If I can't, it's going to have to go there on a flat part. So yeah, um, we'll give that a go and I'll hope that that's going to feed okay. Hopefully these don't crack like the last one. doesn't look alright, but I think it's feeding, okay? Pretty low resistance. What happens if I feed it through this one more? Maybe? It might help follow... It might like help follow the filament a little bit better if it's a bit longer. Maybe? happy with that. Pretty good. So now instead of trying to feed filament in down here, I can just drop my spool in, get it aligned good, and then just lift the tube up here, feed it through, done. Nice. Yep, that seems to be okay. Yep. Sweet. There we go, done and done. All right, so overall, a couple of hours work, a bit of rework, not that much, not that big a change, but I think it's gonna be very impactful for my printing. And I can already see <laughs> humidities are coming down, so that's good too. Good to have a thing that works. 61, 57, 60, yeah. If you want to see how I came up with this design, this theory of operation, um, and get access to the models that I've used to build this system, then check out my other video up here. Thanks for watching. Bye. I think with how much slop there actually is, I probably could, as I said, have designed and 3D printed something that does actually fit in the space. But I've committed to this now. My filament storage solution, as you can see in this video here. This video? This video? That video. Ow! Ow! Bent my fingernail backwards. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh.